Emily and I'm here to show you how to make an elegant farmhouse tablescape perfect for fall. So first I'm going to start off with my table. This is a lovely worn and weather wood table that we have at Rogers. We've had it in the family for many, many years, so it's one of my favorites. Um, one idea, if you wanted to use a tablecloth, a roll of fabric is a great idea. I'm going to um, show you how I can just roll it out. I'm not even going to cut off the edges. I kind of like a little fringe. I want this to be a really warm and just very casual um, moment. So we have this really cool striped um, neutral color fabric that we use for display here at Rogers. We use fabric all the time for our walls. Sometimes we use them as tablecloths. So if you just take a roll of fabric that you find at a fabric store that you love, it could be any time of the year, and you can just roll it on out, cut it to whatever length, and I think this can work beautifully as an alternative to having a tablecloth. So now I'm ready to set my table. I'm not going to use a tablecloth because I want this to feel really warm and just super casual that everybody just brought a chair to the table and food's ready. Like I don't want it to be too fussy or too busy. Um, and this is a very narrow table. So I'm actually going to set this table up a little bit differently than I normally would. I'm going to do it in a zigzag pattern. I'm not going to use any um, linens whatsoever except for napkins, so I'm not even using placemats. But these are my favorite things to use, um, are these woven chargers. I just love how it kind of anchors the table, it has a very warm, rich color, and I like how it just kind of sets your place setting just a little bit stronger. I'm also using one of my favorite platewares that we carry. It is that striped gray pattern. And so it kind of keeps with my neutral look that I'm going for. So now that all of my plates are set down onto the table, I'm going to start with my napkins. So I have this beautiful napkin. It's a linen that has um, a beautiful striped pattern and neutral coloration. So I'm going to keep the fold as is. I'm going to set it underneath my bowl. I'm going to have the edge of the napkin covered by the shape of the bowl. And then I have these beautiful silks. This is a hare's tail. So our silk selection is gorgeous for fall. It's also very expansive during the holidays, at Christmas time, and during the spring. So you should definitely come check out our silk selection. So I'm going to use these hair tails with this cute little tan color. I'm going to slip it underneath the stem so you don't see the stem, underneath the napkin, and just kind of like a cute little sweet treat. So I'm just going to add the final touches to each place setting with the drinking glassware and the silverware. One thing that's really important to me for this table setting is to make it really warm and inviting. And one thing that helps with that is candlelight. So I have these beautiful cylindrical vases of various sizes. Some are tall, some are small, some are skinnier than others. Um, I have floating candles and some of them in water. I also have um, just glass vases with candles in within it. You can do this very easily with vases at home. You can gather a bunch of different sizes and shapes of glass. Um, they could be colored glass. That could be really pretty to use for any table setting. So I just have them placed sporadically around my table setting so that the light is evenly distributed. So now here comes the fun part. It's the final touch to bring my table to life. So what we have, which is an option, are these beautiful velvet pumpkins. We have a variety of colorations. I just stuck with our neutral palette. We have this beautiful white and this kind of gray color. It has a natural pumpkin stem. This is a real stem and they're sewn right around it. So this could be a really fun, beautiful addition. You can use this all over your house as well. It doesn't have to be um, on your table setting, but this is a beautiful option. Or we also have our succulent pumpkins. Now, instead of a neutral color, which is the one I'm going to use with our white pumpkin and our beautiful sage succulents here, we do have some oranges, we do have some larger sizes, a sage color pumpkin, which is really, really beautiful. I love how this has kind of this pink tone to it with the sage green. But if you wanted to add a little bit more warmer colors to this table, 
this is a great idea too. I'm keeping them very small just because I have a narrow, intimate table. So I'm gonna keep it a little bit small, but I'm gonna stay with my white pumpkin and sprinkle them throughout. So if you wanted to learn how to make your own succulent pumpkin, please go to our Rogers Gardens YouTube channel and you can watch Onita teach you how. So now it's time to light the candles and get ready for the party. Thank you so much for joining me and I hope you were inspired to create your own fall tablescape. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and be sure to follow us on Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook. Happy fall.